Introducing the E45 Miter Gearbox. The E45 is a new patented gearbox design that is radically different from any other wide-range multi-speed shifting gearbox in its simplicity as well as its minimal size and weight. As an avid mountain biker, I originally conceived of this idea as a replacement for the chain and derailleur system currently used on bicycles. The motivations for this concept included moving the bulk of the weight in the gear system from the rear wheel to the center of the bike frame, eliminating unsprung weight on suspension bikes, eliminating the loose floppy chain and replacing the exposed, messy and high maintenance gear system from bicycles with an enclosed, internally lubricated gearbox. A miter gearbox consists of two or more spline shafts with gears that have mating splines so they can slide along the shafts. Between these shafts and gears is a gear cluster containing two sets of multiple geared rings that are sized and spaced so they form opposing 45 degree cones. The gear cluster shaft sits at a 45 degree angle in relation to the other two shafts so the sliding gear on each spline shaft can engage any of the rings on one of the conical clusters allowing for multiple gear ratios in evenly spaced increments. Since both the input and output shaft can be shifted to multiple gear rings, the shifting characteristics are very similar to that of a common chain and derailleur system and the same or greater ratio changes can be achieved. Because all the components are already moving during shifting, the gears mesh easily and quickly without the need for synchro mesh systems common on automotive transmissions. The shafts in the system can be arranged in either parallel or perpendicular orientation without any additional gearing or friction. Two additional independently shifting shafts could be added on the same plane resulting in four shafts exiting the gearbox at 90 degree angles from each other. More shafts could conceivably be added at a variety of other angles provided they are parallel to the conical face of either of the gear clusters. I have built a proof of concept prototype with perpendicular shafts that I plan to use to retrofit a full suspension mountain bike into a 25 speed shaft drive bike. The gearbox housing will replace the bottom bracket, placing the input shaft in the exact location as the original crankshaft. The swing arm mount is built into the back of the housing. The drive shaft system would be similar to the systems commonly used on a shaft drive motorcycle, but on a smaller scale. This particular design was not intended for production. It was designed to be easy for me to build quickly and economically using the resources available to me and as many off-the-shelf components as possible. For this reason, it is far larger and heavier than it would be if it were built using the lightweight design and material considerations common on modern bicycle components. Further refinements by experts in the particular fields, such as improved tooth form on the gears, designing the ideal bearings, or finding the ideal lubricant to reduce friction and minimize gear wear would result in a far superior product than this prototype. Ideally, if this system were used on a bicycle, all the bearing mounts would be built into the frame of the bike. The gear cluster construction could be very similar to the common rear cassette currently used on bicycles, making it just as lightweight. The housing used to contain the gear oil and keep out dirt could be a very thin aluminum or plastic sealed clamshell housing. The following demonstration video is made with my prototype mounted upside down to the test mount with the oil pan portion of the housing removed. The test mount has two standard rapid fire shifters mounted to a bar so I can shift either shifter with one hand while cranking the pedals with the other. The shifter cables pass through an adapter that converts the standard shift distance to the distance required by this gearbox. Each shifter moves one of the sliding gears and can position it on any of the five rings in the cluster independently of the other. Note the large increase and decrease in the speed of the output shaft at the lower right hand side of the screen as the sliding gears on both shafts are shifted from the lowest to the highest gear and then back again. While this video only shows 10 gear combinations, there are actually 25 different and evenly spaced gear ratios possible if all the various combinations are used. I strongly feel that this system has a host of possible applications in many different industries and I would like to see this realized. I'm hoping to explore licensing opportunities with established companies that have the resource to develop this idea into marketable products while enjoying patent protection. If you have an application for this idea in mind and are interested in possibly licensing this patent, please send me an email at e45 at earthlink.net. I look forward to hearing from you.